In general, a safe place for pedestrians to cross the road is at a well-marked, controlled location, often at an intersection. But in 2016, 72% of pedestrian fatalities occurred at mid-block locations, between intersections. So, how do we reduce fatalities at these locations and provide safe transportation for every pedestrian? Pedestrian refuge islands can be an effective option, reducing pedestrian crashes by up to 32%. Pedestrian refuge islands are great. Uh, they are um, basically a raised area in the middle of the street uh, where vehicles physically can't go. And they are intended to sort of break up the crossing. The key is that it lets pedestrians cross the road in two sections. By adding that pedestrian refuge island, it gives them a safety zone um, so that they don't have to cross six lanes of travel at one time. They can cross three, pause, wait till the traffic heading in the opposing direction is clear, and then cross through. It just gives them a safety buffer. Refuge islands are ideal for crossings that traverse at least four lanes of traffic with speed limits of 35 miles per hour or greater. The refuge island should be at least four feet wide, preferably eight feet, and marked with a high visibility crosswalk, lights, and signage. In-street stop or yield to pedestrian signs can also be placed in the median to remind road users of pedestrian right-of-way at an unsignalized pedestrian crosswalk. A pedestrian crossing warning sign may be used in combination with an in-street sign, and the warning sign must be post-mounted on the right-hand side of the roadway at the crosswalk location. They're very flexible, they're inexpensive, and they're easy to put in if the space is available. Contact FHWA for more information on using refuge islands and other measures to provide safe transportation for every pedestrian.